Okay, so... Let me just remind myself. I do have this on weekly. Yes. Okay, good. Um, I'm gonna go to the hobby shop to unlock it. Is this the hobby shop? Yep. And then today I'm gonna go shopping. There we go. Now we gotta go get a hat. Do I want a green knit hat with a frog design? Perfect for making two heads are better than one jokes if you wanted to do that for some reason. Do I want the green one or the pink one? Hmm. Hmm. Pink. All right. And I could get my luck redone. Uh, change like with group names. There we go. Um, yeah, whatever. That works. Okay. Um, and yeah, that's that's that. Start another week. Oh. Is this the scene with these guys? Yep. So funny that it, <laughs> I never got this scene the one time I was spending time with all of them. Then I ignore them and they're like, spend time with us. How come I didn't... I didn't put it on because I didn't wear it yet. I'm like, wait. Oh my. <sighs> Well, I guess I can hope Shiloh will appreciate this. Alicia, girl, how are things going with that boy? Oh, so close. Um, I guess we will text while we're here and then go to work on Sunday. Uh, task one. I love that he'll see us with this now, but he'll come and probably talk to us tomorrow about it. I like that our manager lets us wear this at, at work too. That's great. Okay, Shiloh, let's talk about the elephant in the room. You don't have a hat on, but I do. What is this madness? Yeah, it's pretty crazy, huh? Yes, it is. Now explain yourself. I'm not allowed to wear a hat while I'm working here. Then why do you work here? Cause I like this place and most places don't let you wear a hat anyways. The accessory store doesn't, the bakery doesn't, uh, probably a few others too. I see. This must be tough, it's like a part of you is missing. Yeah. Why do you look so pleased by that? Cause I like being known as the hat guy, so making such a big deal about seeing me without a hat is kind of flattering. Someone get this guy a hat. I think he's falling off his rocker without one. <laughs> Come on, jerkit. We better get back to work. Boo. So responsible. Now he'll compliment our hat. <laughs> Hi, jerkit. <laughs> Hi, Shiloh. Notice anything about me today? Yeah, you're wearing a hat. Too bad I didn't notice it yesterday, even though we're not allowed to wear hats at work, but I can do that. How cool. That I am. As the resident hat person, I'd like to hear what you think. Do I look good in the hat? Of course. It's awesome. You look really cute. You know a guy's smitten when he looks at a girl wearing a hat like that and says, you look really cute. How sweet. You're gonna make me blush more than the doofy frog. Oh, it's nothing. It's so neat that you gave hats a try. You can borrow any of mine whenever you want. Thanks, Shiloh. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. Will I get any hats in my inventory? Will he make good on his promise? Nope. Alright. Just curious. Now, should I or shouldn't I? 
have the opportunity yet. Ah, there we go. All right. Time to make a phone call. There he is. Now let's see how this goes. Hello. Hey, Shiloh. Jerkit. That's right. Oh, nice. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't give you my number personally. I was too nervous. We've been texting for a while. Uh-huh, sure. Anyways, it's fine. I've got it, and that's all that matters. Yeah, I didn't think about it before, but how did you get my number? Lynn gave it to me. <laughs> that sounds like something he'd do. So what's up? Nothing much. I've just got a quick question for you. Sure thing. What is it? Wanna go out on a date sometime? Uh, Shiloh? Really? You're asking me out? I am. That's so cool! Can I take that as a yes? Of course, I'd love to go out with you, but... Something wrong? I can't make it today. That's alright. Are you sure? You're not gonna take back the offer, are you? Nah, I didn't mean we should go out today. I just wanted to know if you were interested. Awesome. So when do you want to go out? I don't know yet. I've got the option, though, and that's all I was after for now. Alright. Ha, <laughs> don't sound so down. If it makes you feel better, then when I do want to go out, I'll call ahead of time. That way we can make sure it's not some time you can't make. Aw, oh, thanks! No problem. I'll talk to you later then, Shiloh. Yeah. Don't keep me waiting too long, okay? <laughs> I'm worth waiting any amount of time for. I don't deny that, but that doesn't mean waiting is fun. True enough. Bye bye Shiloh. Bye, Jerkit! <laughs> he was so taken aback, he's like... Me? This guy? Really? Huh. Yes, you. I'll call you next weekend. And I'll text you this weekend. And now I've got a doopy looking frog on my head. Uh, okay, so this isn't gonna be the meeting with the, where Shiloh gets to pick his game, that's next time. Play it again. This is when we like share something about ourselves. Yep, it's the share something about yourself that nobody else knows. My goodness, it's a long meeting. We had a lot to share. Um, okay, now we can make a phone call. Do, 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 boop, boop. Gotta start small? Do I even- I don't even have enough points. I lied. It's not this week. Fine. We will text. And go to work. That's all we can do right now. We'll get that affection somehow. Now, we're getting like no events during the week. Lucas. Yep. Let me just check. I want to make sure I didn't turn off those events. I don't think I did. Random events. Yep. Okay. Um. Do I have enough yet? Nope. <laughs> Alright. More texting it is. Hey! Hey! Tony can be such a faker. Oh no, really? Yeah, you just know sh she that under her smile she's constantly rolling her eyes on the inside at all the junk that happens around here. I didn't even notice. Ooh. I bet. It's actually pretty fun for a change with all the other losers in the school. It's cool you two get along. I'm not sure I'd go that far. Besides, she's far from the best faker around. 
That's who I really want to get along with. Good luck. Thanks, Shiloh. I made a dig at you. You ignored it. Thank you. <laughs> well, I guess we will just keep spending time with him and try to get our affection up some more. Hello? Oh. Hi, Lucas. <laughs> Nothing else happened. Um... How about now? Ugh, so close. Although, this one might... Isn't one of these a 75? No, they're both 90. Why is it so hard to get... to go out with Shiloh? Hmm... I think I'll sleep today. Before I fall over. Okay. Surely this week. <laughs> I can't believe I'm having to do this with Shiloh of all people. There we go. Okay, let's go to the cafeteria. Hi, Jerkit. What's up? Oh, same old, same old. But there's actually something I wanted to ask you. Would you want to go to the cafeteria together tomorrow? Sure. Is this a special occasion or something? No, I just didn't feel like waiting until Monday to have lunch with you. Aw, you're awesome. I know. And in case you couldn't tell, this isn't some friendly thing. It's still meant to be date. Sweet. I can't wait. Should I just come at the normal lunchtime? Yep, that'll work. Let's meet in front of the high school section. Yeah. See you then, Shiloh. Bye, Jerkit. This is such a change of pace from... Ugh, why do you want to go there? No, I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to leave my, my room. It's just like, yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> I'm not used to this. I'm not used to all the acquiescence. Hey, Shiloh. Thanks for coming. Hi, Andrew Kit. I'm happy to be here. How are you? Great, but let's hurry up. I'm ready to eat. Right. Cool, the line isn't very long. Yeah, you can go in front of me. That soup looks pretty good. Now I'm wishing I got it instead. Well, sucks to be you, I guess. A burger is always a solid choice, though. You're right. And there's always tomorrow. They won't have this soup tomorrow, they'll have something else. <laughs> oh yeah. Would you like some of my soup, Shiloh? Uh, that's alright. It's your food. It's fine, I'll just eat your fries instead. Oh, that'd be perfect. Sharing is caring. Ha, yep. You know, you could have asked like a normal person. That would have been just as effective. What do you mean? You know what I mean, you guilt tripper. By the way, I don't think it worked because I actually felt bad about it. <laughs> He's like, what? Well, sorry, I wasn't trying to make you feel bad. I was just saying what I was thinking. Uh-huh, sure. I'm sorry if that made things weird. It's fine, really. I hope you enjoyed that soup, though. I hope it's worth it. All right. So, how's your weekend been? Pretty okay. What about you? Same. I went down to the arcade yesterday and almost beat the high score in one of the games. Good for you. Thanks. Oh, and after this, I'm going to meet up with some people. Really? Who hangs out with you? Other than me, obviously. It's just some guys from school. That doesn't help. What are you going to do? Hang out. And that's it? Yeah, for the most part. So, you won't tell me anything about it, but you brought it up anyways? What a horrible thing to do. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be secretive. There's just not much to say. There's lots of stuff you could say about it. Sorry. Fine. I'm not sure I even want to know what you do when you get together with other people anyways. <laughs> it's really not a big thing. We're just gonna get together and talk and stuff. Right. Do you think you could at least tell me what exactly it is that you'd like about whoever these people are? They're fun. And probably very simple. You're harsh. 
Sure, but that's what you like about me, am I right? Yep, though there are a lot of things I like about you. And that's what I like about you. <laughs> You're great. I don't even mind if that's all you like about me. Don't fish for compliments, Shiloh. That's my thing. Speaking of which, feel free to tell me more of these multiple things you like about me. That's what I keep you around for. No problem. If that's what you want to talk about, that's what we can talk about. Sheesh, you're lucky I don't need genuineness to enjoy praise. But I... Yeah, yeah, save your breath. You haven't even started listing all my wonderful qualities. <laughs> what a terrible date. Ah. This was so much fun. Thanks for inviting me. I hope we can have lunch together again sometime. It was nothing. And we'll see. See you later. Bye, Jerkit. That was the... I don't even know. I don't even know what to say about that. Alright, Pran's birthday. So that's the next meeting that we'll do Shiloh's game. Oh, Pran. Okay. Um, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to do some texting and stuff for a couple of weeks, probably. Miss McGee. Yes, is everything all right? It's fine. I'm simply here to remind you to take your break now. Oh, great. Thanks. Yes, well, have a good break. But he's gonna talk to me about my hat. Phew. Were you worried he'd lecture you? Oh, hi, Shiloh. And maybe. Yeah, he can be pretty strict. You're telling me. But besides that, do you like working here, Jerkit? Sure, it's good enough. Great! I would have been sad if you started going somewhere else. <laughs> of course. And what about you, Shiloh? You like this place, right? Yep! Alright, what do you like about it? I like the people I work with. Uh-huh. Anything else? Hmm, I like that I get a discount here. I don't get a discount. You don't? No! Oh. Well, maybe if you work here longer, you'll get it too. Somehow I doubt that. Romeo! Yes, madam! Romeo, do you get a discount here? I do not. And who started working first? You or Shiloh? Twas I. Mm-hmm. That'll be all. You can go. Of course. Farewell! How did you... Oh, I guess it's just me, then. Weird. You absolutely knew it was just you. I've never asked anyone else about it before. I bet you didn't, but that doesn't mean you didn't know. <laughs> I'm sorry you didn't get a discount, too. I wish I could share it with you or get you something, but I'm not allowed to use the discount like that. I can only use it on things for me. You are a real piece of work, Shiloh. Thanks. Do you have any other special privileges you want to throw in my face? Do you get unlimited breaks, too? No, I don't get unlimited breaks. I just get to choose when I take them. Oh, is that all? You get to do that, too, right? No, I don't. Whoa, crazy. You want to know a secret? Sure, why not? I doubt it could make the situation worse at this point. The truth is, I always set my breaks so they're the same time as yours. Well, at least you're using your unfair advantage wisely. <laughs> Alright, we should probably get back to work. True, we wouldn't want you to get in trouble and lose your discount. Haha, <laughs> you're always so funny. It'll take more than that for me to lose it. Yeah, screw you, Shiloh. <laughs> <laughs> what even is this route? I don't even know what this is. <laughs> it's just Shiloh rubbing... Everything in our face and us being like, you suck. <laughs> That's all this route has been so far. What the actual heck? 
So weird that no random events are happening at all. I mean, I don't know. It's really weird. Oop, didn't scroll down far enough. Uh, so close. Fine. Texting again. What's up? Hi, Drew Kit. I'm at work. Well, that's really sucky. Sorry, I can still message you. Ugh. That's a terrible work ethic. That's nice. As long as it's when things are slow, the manager will understand. Talking to you is important to me. What even is that? What is this emoji? What is that? As it should be. What's going on at your job? I'm putting books on a shelf. <laughs> Riveting. Some of them are poetry collections. They're neat. Wanna know some of the best ones? <laughs> oh boy. I'd love to sit here and have you text poetry to me. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this room is so weird. So weird. Well, maybe something will happen. It could happen. We should be able to go on another date today, finally. Yep, there we go. Hello, Drukit? Yep, it's me. Hi, how are you? Very good, but I'd be even better if you were free tomorrow. Free? Why? I'm calling to ask you out. Cool! Of course I'm free for you. Excellent! How do you feel about going to lounge? That's cool. Totally, but why there? Are you kidding me? It's got a fireplace. Who wouldn't want to take a date there? Good point. It is kind of romantic. Too bad there'll probably be other people around. And why does that matter, Shiloh? Would you do something differently if no one else was there to see? Uh, maybe. Uh-huh. Leave those kind of comments to me. I'll see you in front of the high school section tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. Bye! Oh dear, these two are gonna get into a lot of trouble, aren't they? Me thinks. Sup, Shiloh. Glad you made it. I wouldn't miss it. Of course you wouldn't. Huh, yeah, you'd have to be an idiot to miss a date with you. Thanks, Shiloh. Just being honest. Okay, we should find a spot to sit. Hopefully one near the fireplace. Yeah. It's uh, pretty crazy that school has a lounge. I've never heard of that before. Mm-hmm. None of my other schools ever had a lounge. Same here, though most people probably haven't gone to a school with a lounge. Probably not. So, do you come here often? <laughs> We're already on a date. There's no need for pickup lines. Ah, I didn't mean it like that. I'd really like to know. Why do you want to know? So you can stalk me more effectively? No, just making conversation. Sure. But to answer your question, nah, I don't come here that much. Me neither. I don't know what to do at a lounge. It feels kind of weird. I'm pretty sure you don't do anything special. You just hang out, sit on the couches, drink stuff. It's like the school's living room. Oh wow, that's such a cool way of putting it. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yep, I think I might like this place more now. Before it seemed like a stuffy thing to have. Like, what high schooler needs their own lounge? But when you're living away from home, it probably is a good idea to have a comfortable place for everybody to get together. I'm amazed you didn't put that together until now. Uh, I guess I focus too much on the label. 
that's not very good, is it? You don't say. I feel bad now. If all you consider is the label someone puts on something, you're not going to see it for what it really is. And that's not something you, of all people, already knew? Well, I knew it, but I guess I should try harder to apply it. Good. That's very important. I mean, if I was stupid enough to take you at face value, who knows what would have happened by now, right? I'm not sure what you mean. But I'm happy you're taking the time to get to know me for who I really am. Yeah, you're welcome. Though I'm only bothering because you're cute, so you probably shouldn't give me too much credit. No one is perfect. True, but some people are just awful and that's okay. It is? It better be, otherwise I might have to feel bad about myself like you pretend to. <laughs> Aw, you're way too tough on yourself. There are plenty of good things about you. Oh boy, now you're starting to sound like Lin, and he's practically crazy. I'm crazy about you, if that counts. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> well, I'm glad I get to have a living room again. I miss being in a house. Then why don't you ask your parents to let you go back? Convincing people to do things you want is kind of your special skill. I don't have a home to go to anymore. My mom works here in the elementary school section. To save money, she lives in a little apartment while I get to attend SSB tuition-free thanks to her being a faculty member. There's barely enough room for her and our kitties in that place. Have I mentioned our cats before? We have three. Nice! It is. All of them were strays that somehow ended up in our laps. <laughs> Their names are Jojo, Drake, and Toffee. Well, I'd love to meet them sometime. I'd love that too. Anyways, that's how things are. Thanks for listening. Just Shiloh. <laughs> you're welcome. Man, I guess that means you're one of the few people here who isn't a spoiled rich baby. Yep, I'm a regular guy. Let's not go too far. Regular is still not a word that's within your grasp. Okay. <laughs> and... Even if I did have the option to go back to living in a normal house with my mom, I still couldn't do that now. Because you're here. I'm sorry I'm so desirable. There's nothing I can do. That's my special skill. I don't mind at all. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty okay. See you later, Shiloh. Sure. Thanks for inviting me. I hope you'll do it again sometime. We'll see. Next time we'll get to see some outfits, so that'll be great. I'm really weirded out that we get no random events at all. Ah! Ugh, another message. What's the matter, Drew Kit? I'm being accosted by a terrible guy. So? It's not one of you jerks from our group. That's terrible! Who's bullying you? We can tell the teachers about it. He's not bullying me. He wants to date me. And he doesn't go to the school anyways. Who'd want to date you enough to be a nuisance? Ha, huh. oh yeah, Shiloh. Does he know you're not interested? I've told him not to ask me out, but he does it anyway. What nerve! <laughs> this isn't funny, Everett. If just telling him no isn't enough, you could say you're already taken. I wouldn't mind pretending to be your boyfriend. Thanks, I'll keep that offer in mind. Shiloh sucks. Let me be your fake boyfriend instead. Seriously? Yeah, I kind of want to meet the guy who's got you so annoyed. Maybe I'll shake his hand. <laughs> Shiloh's like, excuse you. <laughs> That's not going to help me with my problem here. Oops. Mm-hmm. Since you're so keen on this guy, why don't you be his buddy and then he won't have time for me anymore? His name is Lucas. He's got black and orange hair and pierced ears. Ugh, fuck, I know him. You do? Yes. Okay, your concerns are officially valid. He's unbearable. Her concerns are always valid. <laughs> what did he do to you? Whenever he sees me around town, he comes over and tries to have a chat no matter how much I tell him to get lost. And he always calls me a petite fashionista. Like, what the fuck? Interesting. Can I start calling you that? Fuck no. I think it suits you. Nobody cares what you think. 
Alright, that's enough fun. We've still got a problem to solve. How are we gonna get Lucas to go away? No clue. I don't know what to do about Everett's thing, but I still think my first idea could work for you, Drew Kit. <sighs> Is there anyone else who knows him? I don't know. I've never heard anything about this Lucas guy until now. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll just ignore him and see if he goes away on his own. That hasn't worked for me. Forgive me if I have a hard time believing you actually ignore him. You probably can't stop yourself from cussing him out whenever he comes near you. I hope he messages you forever. Don't make me give him his favorite petite fashionista's number, too. Bitch. <laughs> I feel a little better now. Thanks, you two. You're welcome. What else? <laughs> Good talk, everybody. Uh, right. Back to texting. And going to work. Get that affection up.